Good afternoon, Gia. How you doing? Fantastic. Good, good. I'm glad that you were able to uh, take time out of your day to share some insight into like some of the things that you uh, uh, you've accomplished over the you know over time. Uh, and uh, first of all, I want to just let everybody know about some of your progress and like how amazing it's been. Uh, Gia has uh, lost a total of 29.6 pounds of body fat. And again, it's not just weight that she lost. She lost body fat, and we've been able to track her progress over time. And uh, I want to commend you for that, first of all, to let people know that you, you've done it, you know. And uh, just want to get uh, have a few questions I want to talk to you about because I want to share some of the, your thoughts about, you know, taking on that kind of challenge uh, and the journey, you know. All right. Okay. okay. Now, uh, first thing, Gia, uh, is uh, what's the biggest change that you've noticed, you know, making that kind of progress and how has it changed your life? Um, the biggest change for me has definitely been the energy level. Um, okay. Because I, I have not gone this hard in quite a while. Wow. Um, the biggest change in my life is commitment because I've, I've not committed to anything this long in a very long time. Oh, wow. So sticking with the program has taught me more about commitment. Okay. Now with, with the commitment, say that again. Just seeing through different challenges. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was gonna. That's exactly what I was gonna ask you about. Like, once you, once you make the commitment, like, say maybe like your first month, is the second and third month easier, or do you have? Is it kind of equally like challenging, or does it, it get? Easier? It, it's easier mentally because I think I've gotten into a habit okay. of trying to become healthy. So uh, with that habit, it has. It's it's a piece I never dreamt that I would be up. 4 30 in the morning to prepare for exercise who does that <laughs> so what? but now it's my, it's, you know, who does that but now it's a habit and so when i don't it feels different it feels odd like something's you know? missing almost right yeah, yeah and that's because you have because you you you, you built that habit and i think that you yeah. get on like something very very important like making a commitment starts out you know just that you're making a commitment but then that becomes a habit of making a commitment. And now when you don't do it, it's kind of the opposite of what it was before. You actually feel like something is missing. So I think that that's, that's a real big change. And, and if you really think about it, it kind of works to your advantage in the same way that it did to your disadvantage. Because a mm -hmm. habit is a habit, whether it's good or bad. So, okay. Right. So I appreciate it's that. Quick. Yeah. I yeah. talk about the stuff real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Appreciate that. All right. Now, next question, Gia. Uh, like, what are some of the struggles that you faced and like, how did the boot camp help you overcome them? Struggles. Um, so what, what, may, what may have been your biggest struggle, like over, over the course of this uh, fitness journey? To be honest, eating is the biggest struggle for me. Exercise, I won't say it's a piece of cake because the boot camps are very challenging okay. physically. But outside of that, you still have to eat right. And yeah. that, is, that is a daily struggle. Um, we have a lot of resources. Um, your coaches give us resources. You give us resources. You provide information. But we have to take those tools and use it. And, and it's hard because there's yeah. so many unhealthy options out there and unhealthy is quicker and easier for us to hold on to yeah. it's hard to find good clean healthy food yeah and you know that's part of why we make sure that you don't do you don't have to guess too much when you're in the program we try to provide you with like the, the meal plan the healthy options just you know help along the way because we know that like no matter how much you work out if you're not thinking about the eating part, then it's going to be hard to get those changes. And you've been, you've, you've proven that you, you've evidently uh, gotten a hold of it and found what works like for you, because if that is a struggle and you know that you can kind of identify 
you know, uh, uh, alternatives and things that are going to help you ahead of time and not stumble on that. So I'm, I'm glad that you were able to benefit uh, from that. And I, I really think that there's a lot of people that, that do um, struggle with that same thing. You know, like you, you mentioned, there's, there's food to eat everywhere, you know, it's convenient, it, you know, so that's something that like going into a journey like that, I think that it would be, uh, it's very good advice for people to be aware of like, you know, having that. It's still a struggle and, though. Um, yeah, well, it's a struggle, but like, you know, once you've done it, you know how to overcome it, then it's not the same struggle as it was maybe two years ago or mm -hmm. last year or something like that. Yeah. Not the same, but it, it's definitely a challenge. Yeah. They keep cooking that food, don't they? <laughs> Everywhere you go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They, they make so, companies out of it. it. Oh, they make God. companies out of that. What are they thinking about, Gia? They can't, can't resist it sometimes. <laughs> and, and and I wouldn't even I wouldn't even advise to anyone to deny themselves from some of the things they enjoy. So I will admit, I, I do have things that I enjoy too. So there's a there's a balance with that. Yeah. Because hey. in this journey, I still have to be happy with myself and you know mentally um, happy. So yeah. Yeah, you just you just answered my next question, Gia. That was that was you just answered my next question was going to be like, um, what advice could you give someone looking to take that journey? And what you just said kind of rung a bell with me about like not trying to give up everything you enjoy because then you don't like the journey. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah. And talk about that a little bit more. Like, what did you have to make a list of like things you're you're not going to give up and things you well, willing you know, to give up? I mean, how, how did that in, work for you? in a perfect world, we we'd eat chicken and fish and those type of things. But guess what? I like red meat, and so I'm going to still have my and smaller portions and and you know stretch it out over a different amount of time right so okay kind of things luckily my problem is not desserts and sweets and things like that but i just will still enjoy the things that i like in moderation yeah. um, now that's, and, that's that's really good advice and I, i'm glad that you mentioned that and you brought it up because you know a lot of people they try to get on that all or nothing mentality and like, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm not going to do that ever again until I get to this goal. And then before you know it, you don't enjoy the journey. It's not right. fun. And it feels like you're de depriving yourself and you're just not you. And you just yeah. go binge and you then you go back further in the opposite direction. So I think that I really think that's a very valuable piece of advice is to not give up everything you enjoy. But like you mentioned, you may have to stretch it out or moderate it. Do it. Do things that are not going to help you, but you enjoy. Do them less, and maybe spread it out over time. And I think that, like with that being said, you can still, you know, move uh, forward in your journey without giving up everything that that you love. Right. That's a right. very good piece, and, and that's coming from somebody that's done it. That's lost twenty nine point six pounds of body right. fat without giving everything up. And you heard it from her first, okay? All right, Gia. Well, that's everything I had. I really appreciate all of that. That was great. Great advice. Uh, and definitely, I hope that uh, anyone listening to, to this, it uh, something uh, resonates with you that can either help you on your journey or inspire you to start your journey. Okay? All right, Gia. Uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. And I will see you in your next boot camp. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.